announced in the weeks leading up to the runoff, the incumbent had said that the internal party pool was unnecessary since he had twice won the seat and by credible margins. And the results of the runoff vindicated his position. It is not my victory, but it is a people's victory. The people have spoken and the voice of the people is the voice of God. The people have judged me by my performance. They judged me by my performance. They didn't, they didn't consider education or, or anything like that, but they considered my performance and they have given me the mandate to continue serving them. So I want to thank the people of Ansar and Canaries. I want to thank my constituency group. And above all, I want to thank the almighty God for the industry and carrying through. Mr. Lansico won the contest with 788 votes to his challengers, 443. After the vote was announced, both men shook hands in a show of unity. Well, we were in a contest, and in any contest there is a victor and a vanquish. We attempted and we have lost. The people have spoken, so I have no choice but to accept that the people have spoken. But Cyprian Lansico supporters say there should have been no need for them to speak, since their voices had already been heard in two general elections that gave him the answer Ray Canary seat. It wasn't fair, because so far the man had won two terms, and we don't deserve no runoff. I believe that this was not called for in the first place. All right, because Mr. Dimak. As the man who was the campaign manager for Mr. Lansico, I believe he did Mr. Lansico a very treacherous job. He should have consulted with him, all right, to let him know that his intentions, he never did that. And he went around the constituency saying that the people wanted him. But I, as a strong member of the St. Lucia Labour Party, I will go all out. Lansico is my first cousin. I went all out to support Mr. Lansico. Lansico had to win. Some supporters have conjectured that the runoff was part of a deliberate policy in the party top brass to push more intellectuals into top positions. Whatever the case, now that the runoff is over, both Victor and Vanquish have pledged to work together in unity to attempt to bring the bacon home for Labour again at the next general elections. For the DBS News World, Pete Ninval reporting. A 26-year-old woman who was reported missing.